in the previous videos in this playlist, I kept tripping over the inherited Boolean thing. Let's cover it in this video. Let's just get it out of the way. I think it's unnecessary how, how they keep shoving that in my face. But whatever. Class. Uh, me attribute. Same as what we've seen before. Let's make it an attribute. Like so. And then I'm going to make a class called Base. Go figure. And I bet you can't guess the name of the next one. Derived. And I'm going to tag me attribute on here. And then down here, I'm going to say type of base dot get custom attributes. And this is the Boolean that keeps keeps throwing me off. I have to say, give me the inherited ones or not the inherited ones. In fact, I actually want to do type of derived. Okay, so if I say true here, that's going to give me all of the attributes inherited by derived. And since derived is derived from base, and base has a me attribute on here, then I would expect to get me attribute out of here. So I actually have this uh, p method I haven't been using in too many of the videos, but basically it does a console write line, and it'll iterate through the array of attributes. Remember, get custom attributes. I click there, control k i. It returns this object array, and so this dot p is short for print, and it'll print the custom attributes. So you can see... Yes, me attribute. We said true, give me the inherited attributes, and thus it was. And if I come here, I can say false, and then all of a sudden, hey, look, it's not there anymore. We didn't get any of the inherited attributes. But if I turn around and say, hey, me, let's put it specifically on derived, and so it's, uh, yeah, we're inheriting it here, but then it's also applied directly to derived. Well, even though I said don't give me the inherited ones, that first one is not inherited, so... There we go, we get it. But now in this case, if I say, hey, give me the inherited ones, then I'll get this one, and I'll get that one. Run them, and hey, look. Was that a surprise? <laughs> you only get it once, okay? That's kind of one thing about attributes is if you have it, if you inherit it, that's fine. If you already got it, then you already got it. So there you go. It's not like we applied this attribute twice. Okay, uh, one other thing along with this inheritance stuff is... In the last video, I showed you this attribute usage, and we have to give it a target, so I'm just going to say all, and then name parameters. One of the name parameters is inherited here, and so I can say inherited. It's false, like that, and so no matter how bad I want to inherit the attribute, let's take it off derived. No matter how bad I want to inherit the attribute, the attribute itself will stop anybody from inheriting it. All right, so I'm saying, hey, give me custom attributes, give me the inherited ones, but this can no longer be inherited. Control F5, we get an empty array. Now, while I'm at it, while I'm at it, I want to talk about is defined. Let's make a constructor here, and we shall trace me attribute uh, like so. And so every time we create an attribute via get custom attributes, we should see the constructor run. So let me uh, let me get the attribute usage off here. So now we can inherit this again, which we will right there. And I say, let me inherit it. Turn your resolution up to high definition uh, if, if you can. Control F5. Okay, we get the constructor here, and then we can see me attribute. All right, well, what if I want to just see if an attribute's on a class, but I don't necessarily want to go to all the headache of actually instantiating an instance of it? I mean, most of the time, we're just curious to know if the attribute exists. We don't want to create the attribute with the test framework, for example. Instead of saying, hey, give me the custom attributes, and is the test attribute on the top? Uh, well, we don't have to create the attribute to see if it's on the top. Instead, I could turn around and say, instead of saying get custom attributes, I could say is defined. And the arguments for is defined is the attribute type. So is is uh, me attribute defined on type of derived? And then, of course, I have to provide the inheritance thing. I'll say true. And is it defined? Okay, is me attribute defined on derived? Not directly, but I can sure inherit it there. So we'll see that. Yes, that's true. It is defined. Okay, and of course, I can put this to false and then, no, it's not defined. You didn't inherit it. Kind of thing. But if I move it down. Like so, control L, control V, control F5 to run it. Yeah, it's now defined again. So if you want to avoid the overhead headaches of instantiating an attribute and you just want to know if it's there, you don't need to instantiate it, then certainly go for it. You can use is defined.